Here's the truth. You don't actually need the squat, bench, and deadlift for gains in strength, mass, or athletic ability. Now, don't get me wrong. These movements come with a variety of benefits, and if you have the access to get your hands on them, then I highly advise you do so. But if there's no gym you can go to or no home gym you can afford, and you have goals that relate to fitness and getting stacked, then don't worry, because I will be discussing the alternatives for the big three of lifting and minimalist techniques that will help you succeed in your fitness journey. First, maybe consider opting out for calisthenics or weighted calisthenics when you feel you're able to. For something like the bench press, I actually almost replaced it fully with the weighted push-up. And don't get me wrong, I love the bench press. It makes me feel like Batman when I do it. But I wanna say for about a month or two, I was just doing weighted push-ups and one day decided to see how my bench press improved from it. Mind you, I don't really care about max weight. I usually test my strength through muscular endurance, which is measuring how many reps I can perform rather than the amount of weight. And just like I expected, I was able to rep out the Larson press a lot more than I did before I started doing weighted push-ups. Even with ring push-ups, I saw massive gains because it's more stability focused and targets the stretch more than anything. And for something like the squat, it's fairly easy to add weight to a squat if you just grab a rock, wear a book bag, or even target different bodyweight variations that focuses on different performance-based muscles. And for the deadlift, Try some techniques that require you to do the hip hinge as well as training the lower back and hamstrings. The key to training like a minimalist is not about replicating the movement, but training and targeting muscles that assist each movement. It is more to it than just picking stuff up and putting it down. It's more so understanding the assisting muscles and capitalizing it. While I do believe certain bodyweight techniques can be a good start for compensating the big three lifts, I also recommend getting some home equipment that are the bare minimum, like resistance bands, kettlebells, clubs, steel maces, etc. They're fairly inexpensive and honestly a very positive long-term investment for your health. I remember after moving, I had to start from scratch again, and from that year, I was mainly training with my bodyweight, a 35-pound kettlebell, a heavy bag, resistance bands, and some rings that I got for Christmas. While this doesn't sound like much, I made good use of it and continue to do so despite the gym membership I currently have. There are a lot of movements I enjoy doing that actually replace the big three entirely. And for the bench press, you can opt for the band press. This is personally my favorite alternative because unlike a bench press that requires you to push weight up or else it'll fall on you, the band press is the move that pushes back. So this requires a great amount of muscle concentration also known as proprioception, which I preach about regularly. Next is the single leg RDL or Romanian deadlift. Earlier, I preached about the hip hinge, and yes, to be able to replace the deadlift, this move is important because the deadlift requires you to hip hinge. So for the Romanian deadlift, you're going down, stretching the hamstring, and shooting back up. This is when you use the hips to bring you back to your starting point. This movement even comes with additional benefits like balancing, ankle stability, and core strength. Another great alternative is the suitcase carry and the kettlebell swing. And for the squat, it's fairly simple in this case. You can go for weighted movements, as I said earlier, or variations of the exercise. Some forms of the squat I enjoy doing include the Hindu squat and the split squat for body weight, and the squat with the steel mace press, and a goblet squat for weighted alternatives, which target more of the lower back and core as well. The big three lifts are very important, but aren't necessary when it comes to getting in shape. When it comes to training like a minimalist, think of yourself as Bane doing calisthenics and getting jacked. Though it isn't very realistic, it's motivating. Let me know in the comments below if this helped you and be sure to like, subscribe, and share with others you may know. And with that said, train hard. Till next time. I'll see you in the next one.